Hello, hello, beautiful Libra. Welcome into my channel, Miss Reem Healings. My name is Reem. Welcome into your reading. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Libra. Timestamp in the comment section down below to your love reading when the love messages begin. Um, I'm going to kick things off with your spiritual message. Okay, so I actually have four cards out already because I did your reading, um, well, the start of your reading, and then I got very distracted by an aggressive energy that wanted to come in. Um, I had to just kind of transmute it uh, because it was starting to affect my channeling. It was a very odd aggressive energy and you have here the curse and the earth cards in reverse this has been coming out in reverse the curse um in actually all of the readings because a lot of people are not only releasing temporary temporary spiritual attacks temporary negative and ill intent energies that other people may be displacing onto you or have displaced onto you or are trying to displace onto you. So I see this in the reverse as um, uh, connected to that kind of energy because it's not sticking, it's not rooting in your reality, it's not affecting you um, any longer if it has affected you. So I see that this is a temporary energy that is being released. I also see this as wounds and trauma. So there is a major, major cleansing taking place at this time. A really, really, really big cleanse from your wounds, from traumas, generational wounds, perhaps even generational curses for some of you, generational ties, um, ties to other people. However, any en energies that you may feel are... Um, crippling you or kind of crippling your energy uh something like that i see is being released okay a lot of people are cleansing and purging right now so this is why it's in the reverse um i'm also seeing that this is a physical cleanse for some of you you're cleansing out uh toxins from your body this is um for some of you, you may be actively doing so. So you could be doing cleanses, um, eating cleaner, um, just going through some kind of physical transformation, okay? Um, some of you are inactively or unaware that you are doing a physical cleanse. And I say that because you also had these cards came out actualization and evolve this is a really big move from a known reality to something unknown you're going from a known reality to an unknown reality a lot of energies are evolving and new energies are actualizing okay your goals are actualizing your dreams are actualizing future energies are actualizing they're becoming solid they are materializing in your unknown reality that you will soon know that you will soon be in uh be present in so it's almost so this ties into your physical body because it's almost as if you have hit a certain vibration you've hit a certain frequency um you have brought in your higher energies and a lot of people are bringing down their higher energies they are embodying their higher energies their higher energies are calibrating um and shifting a lot of things not only within your body but also in your reality okay but as soon as you hit this frequency and this vibration it almost triggered a instruction or some kind of encoded instructions in your cellular makeup that triggered and said They've hit this vibration, they've hit this frequency, this is a change in the physical body that needs to occur now. This is a DNA change, update, upgrade. Um, this ties into blood as well. We've been getting blood angel in the collective quite a lot because a lot of people are going through blood purification, DNA upgrades. When we talk about DNA or physical upgrades, we also talk about our blood. So I'm seeing that here happening okay blood purification body purification this is a upgrade in your physical nature okay your physical body 
So again, you may be aware or unaware of it, regardless, doesn't matter what state, if you're aware or unaware, it's a trigger for your body that is occurring because you've hit a particular frequency and vibration that is that is moving. You're moving from a known reality to an unknown reality. And I see that you are in between this energy. I see that you're transitioning from one to the other. I see that you are moving from a known reality to an unknown reality. You're in between these two right now. You're busy. You're busy. This is a big move. A really, really big move. This is not to be taken lightly. And if you're in this energy, you know. You know that this is big. This is a lot. This is a lot to go through. Um, it's like picking, it's like packing up your house. It's like you're going into every single room, which is very symbolic of like visiting and going to different fractals of yourself, different different spaces within yourself and doing a massive cleanup, putting things in boxes, packing things up, cleaning the space and moving it to a new space, so to speak. Um, also very important, if energies are not rooted, if energies are not grounded, if energies are not anchored, they will not survive. They will not be moved to the unknown reality, which will soon be a reality, which will soon be the reality that you know. Okay, so if you are creating something, if you are in this creator mode, make sure that you ground your focus and ground your creations. Anchor them. Do a lot of root chakra meditation. Put your feet out into the soil, out into the ground. Walk around barefoot. Very important to ground your energies, okay? If you are journaling, because I'm seeing someone rip something up and burn it, don't do that. Make sure that you can see what you are writing and have it written on your journal. Don't rip it up and don't burn it away. I know that is a transmutation. I know that it is used a lot of times in alchemy, okay, for manifestation. But I'm being guided to tell you don't do that for this. It needs to be rooted, it needs to be grounded, it needs to be materialized, it needs to be seen in the line of vision, your line of vision. You have to have words on a piece of paper and don't burn them, leave them there. Leave them on the piece of paper, okay? So very important to ground, very, very important. Make sure your energies that you want to actualize, the energies that you want to create in this unknown reality that will soon be known to you, make sure that they are rooted okay this is a big move you're very very busy um i'm seeing a blanket over someone i'm gonna look at the energies in the in-between because you're in the in-between right now it's like your future is calling you your future self is calling you you're communicating a lot to the future okay um I'm seeing a blanket over you. It's almost like a blanket. Because like this is your focus right now. There's like a blanket over you. And this is all that you're focusing on. You're focusing on this big move. From a known reality to the unknown reality. That will soon be known to you. And the real reality that you, that you know now. Is not going to be the reality that you know. The unknown reality is the one that you're going to know. And it's like, that's your focus. This move is your focus. Like everything else, that's why the blanket is here. It's like to shield you, to protect you from anything else. This is your focus. Okay. Really interesting. Oh. Okay, Wheel of Fortune. Did you see a little twirl it did? <laughs> the cures are in motion. That is actually fascinating. See the big gown? Looks like a massive blanket. What is it covering? It's covering the gears. See how she's like lifting her skirt? 
or it's actually just like open. She's not even lifting her skirt. It's like it's opened here and you can see like underneath like what the blanket is covering is this movement, this big move. The gears are in motion. This is what you're focusing on. That's why there's a blanket. That's why there's a covering. This is your focus. It may also be covering and, and, and shielding it from anything else, anything else that may, that may impede this energy. It's like an impediment, releasing impediments right now. That's what this earth energy is doing. That's what your guides are doing. That's what the universe is doing, releasing impediments. Okay, so that it doesn't affect the gear, so that it doesn't affect the momentum or, or this big move. Wheel of Fortune here. Oh, beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. She's also holding a clock. Also holding a clock right there. Time. I've been feeling, actually, so has Eve um, at Everlong Mystic. I mentioned Mercury in, I think it was in yesterday's reading. Who was yesterday's reading? I don't remember. Um, who was yesterday's reading? Aries. I mentioned Mercury. A lot of Mercury energies, um, communication. But there's also... What am I seeing? I'm seeing something here about time. Hold on. Sorry. I need to get the card. Who are you? <gasps> I'm, I can see the eyes. <laughs> oh, I forget your name. Oh, it's in the it's in these ones. Hold on. Sorry. Just bear with me. I won't be able to move forward <laughs> until I get this. Hold on. Uh, I talked about it not long ago. There's something about mythic times. There's something about time. Remember how I said like um, you reach a particular vibration, you reach a particular frequency, and it triggered here. Who are you? Kairos. Time. Mythic time. That's Kairos. This is Kairos. Mythic time. Okay. Um... This is also talking about fate, but um, remember how I said like you reach a particular frequency, you you reach a particular vibration, and it triggered the encoded in DNA instructions in your physical cellular composition to update and to change. That's what also happened here on a on a grander, larger scheme of things. This, this is happening in perfect timing. You had X amount of time to finish, to finish, to finish, Ten of Swords, what you needed in this reality here, and you did it. It's completed. Now you're moving on to the next, to the unknown, which will soon be known to you. Does that make sense? Okay. Ten of Swords. I'm seeing this as the hands of fate. I'm seeing this as the hands of fate. As each hand of fate picks a needle, picks a needle, and gets to work on actualizing evolved energies in your unknown reality. That's how I see this Ten of Swords.
why do why am i saying that this is the hands of fate because you have wheel of fortune as your overall energy destiny fate kairos mythic time fate of time this has been this is fixed like this feels fixed You have done and you have accomplished everything that you needed to in this in this reality. Everything. Everything. I feel this like urge in my heart and in my like gut. Like it's there's something connected here. Yes, yeah, see the gears of the heart, the desires. The gears of desires, oh, they're moving. Oh, they are moving. So you may be thinking a lot about what you want to experience. You may be even thinking of like the ultimate experience that you want to have. You're going to have it. It's going to actualize in the unknown reality that you will know very soon. Okay, right now you're in between. You're shifting. You're moving. This is a big move. Okay? I don't know how many cards I want to get from this, but let's just keep flowing. Let's just keep flowing. Two of Pentacles. That's a beautiful card. Two of Pentacles. What are you doing in the in-between on top of buildings? What are you doing in the in-between? With the two of pentacles. What are you doing in the in-between with the two of pentacles? This is a lot of also release. Okay, with the hands of fate release. So not only am I seeing the hands of fate picking a needle so that they can thread and weave and actualize the evolve energies in this new reality that is being created. But there's also a really big release here happening. I'm also seeing an inte intellectual release. I don't know what that means. An intellectual release. Oh, I feel tension like being released from my head. Like tension. Why am I seeing tension? Maybe some of you are having headaches. But it's like... It's almost like you stored what you knew or the truths that you've known. You have stored what you have known here. And it's just like, I have so much truth. I have so much knowledge. What do I do with it? What do I do with it? What do I do with it? And you have here the hands of fate. You have assistance here that where truth is actualizing something about like, what, what do I do with the truth? Now that I know it, something is being done with the truth that you know in this reality. It's going to be planted because you're creating with the truth that you have acquired. You're creating with the knowledge that you have acquired in this reality. You are going to start to apply what you know here in this unknown reality that will be soon known to you. Does that, am I making sense? Because it's like, I have so much truth. What do I do with it? I have so much knowledge. What do I do with it? That's what this, that's what this is for. That's what this reality is going to be for. Application. Evolved energies. Creating with the truths that you know. Creating with the knowledge that you know. Advancement. And so in the in-between, it's like this release happening. Oh, it feels so good. Because it's like, oh, ew, a piece of hair went in my mouth. Because <laughs> um, it feels so good. Because it feels like you've been just storing it up here. Storing all the truth. Storing all the knowledge. Storing everything. Can't forget. Can't forget. I can't forget this. You're getting help. You're getting help. It's release. It's being released to actualize here. Okay, got that. Thanks. Moving on. Two of Pentacles. What are you doing with the Two of Pentacles? Two 
What are you doing with the Two of Pentacles in the in-between? Oh, it's got a left shoulder pain. Like, but it hit like right up here, connecting from my neck to my shoulders. This Two of Pentacles is not talking to me. I'm looking at it and I'm just like, um, the magician, of course, the magician. Look at this gorgeous King of Cups. Okay, I'm only going to take these three. I don't know what you're doing with this Two of Pentacles. doing with the two of pentacles give me more on this two of pentacles i kind of feel like you feel right now as if you are not doing much like it feels as if because i'm looking at this as like you're on top of the building in the middle like you we know that you're in the middle we know that you're in the in-between we know that you are here moving you're traveling between the known and the unknown realities right now right and it's almost like maybe that's what this is up here see the infinity sign see those two um like balls right there they're like going uh from one end of the spectrum of the infinity they're gonna move on to the other end of the spectrum of the infinity it's almost like you're trying to balance the known and the unknown reality or you're trying to bring them together. But that's not what's happening. This reality, this known reality is, is shifting, is moving. This reality is coming in. Why do you feel like you have to balance? Why do you feel it? What are you trying to balance here? Maybe it's not the known and the unknown reality that you're balancing. Maybe it's your energies that you're balancing or getting balanced. What are you balancing? What are you balancing? What are you balancing? What is Libra balancing? What is Libra balancing? Luminous warrior, the spiral, that doesn't help me. <laughs> that doesn't help me. Thirty-two, five, five and fifty. This is fifty-five. Are you balancing yourself? Are you balancing yourself? Could be. While these energies shift, you're balancing your chakras, you're balancing your sacral chakra, you're balancing your solar plexus chakra, you're balancing here. I feel like spirit wants to assure to you that You're also part of this big move. It almost feels like you need to do a lot of the balancing, but spirit, like this is this is why I'm looking at this card and I'm like, what are you doing? It's almost like spirit looking at you and going, what are you doing? Like you don't have to be doing that. You don't have to be doing that. Let us release the tension. Let us let us assist. Like all you need to be doing is making sure that you are grounded. That you are grounded. That's all that need. like that you grounding and you grounding your focus and you making sure that you are anchoring the energies that are being actualized in this unknown reality that will soon be known to you. All you need to do is ground that's all it almost feels like you here with the two of pentacles like you have to do so much that it is creating imbalance for yourself 
like I have to do this I have to do that like I know that there's so much going on and you're really really busy but spirits here it's almost like looking at you and saying what are you doing you don't need to be doing so much everything is in motion this reality is going to move this reality is going to come in all you need to do is make sure that you're grounded all you need to do is make sure that you're grounded you don't have to be doing so much is what I'm getting here with this two of pentacles maybe even just like focus on balancing your chakras okay um feeling really confident luminous warrior five this is also part of your physical transformation your physical change some of you are um, also receiving, I'm getting this message of receiving the mantle of a warrior. Because um, I'm seeing like your strength, your strength is um, widening, almost like you have, um, oh, like your, your strength is opening up, your strength is getting broader um, because because of this your strength is evolving your strength is evolving so there's like i feel like i feel like you have like, it's almost like you have this perception that you have so much to do and like you're the only one doing it but spirit is here saying you're not the only one doing this you're not the only one doing this Focus on you. Focus on grounding. It's like that's the only thing that you have to do. Everything else is in motion. The spiral. Every time I look at this card right now, like I'm looking at it, it it's making me dizzy. Because the gears, the spiral's in motion. Everything's in motion. I've been also looking at this as a machine. I always see this lately. Probably for the past week or so, the spiral has been coming out as a machine to me. And look at the machine here. Look at the mechanisms. Look at the gears. This, the, those gears, that machine, this is also internal. The machine, like, I'm not saying you're a machine, but like, it's, it's, a, it's symbolism of like your physical machine, your physical body, the movement of your physical body. Okay, everything is changing. Everything is in momentum. Everything is in gear. Everything is moving. This is a big move. It's not just one aspect that is moving. It's all aspects that are moving. And everything is moving on its own time. Everything is moving in perfect balance. Okay, just like... Just ground. Okay, just ground. What's also taking place in the in-between for you as this new reality sets in I need to talk about this with the magician and the king of cups because I'm seeing um, a portal A portal in your intuition that you have created you created a portal in your intuition I was about to say your emotional body but this is not a portal in your emotional body this is um, a portal in your vision this is a portal in your intuition it's like a portal in the veil this is a portal this is a portal in the veil that you have created here. Um, wow. I feel like my mind is going to explode. I don't know what that means. I'm being honest. I don't even know how to even explain that. That feels crazy. Crazy. 
there's something about the oh my god there's something about the veil that you have been born with i'm saying the veil that the veil that i have been born with Because your intuition or your gifts or your abilities have been working in one particular way. Because this this to me looks like a rock. This to me looks like it's it's like almost like something very um, not stuck, but it's it's just very um, like hard to move. So it almost feels like your intuition has been moving in one particular direction. Your intuition has been working in one particular way. And then I and then I'm seeing this magician and I'm hearing the veil that you have been born with. So th this is when you were a child, you were born with these intuitive gifts. You were born with psychic abilities. You've been born with mediumship. You have been born with heightened intuition, empathetic abilities at a very like heightened and enhanced level as you grew up it's almost as if you were disassociated or disconnected with that full potential of those gifts and so they became kind of hardened they became like you only kind of like scratched the surface of it now as you've healed as this major release is taking place, as this big move is happening, you... So as this cleanse occurred, as you've been healing deep wounds, inside of your vision, inside of your intuition, you opened up a portal for that eternal child to start to flow through and that's what I'm seeing here the eternal child the eternal magician is flowing through what <laughs> what You're going to be experiencing your gifts at full potential that have been sitting in and sitting with the eternal child. That's also what's taking place. That's a lot. That's a lot of energy. You are busy. You are busy. Um, so that's what's happening. Wow. This is also very important to ground your ground your intuition. This is all about grounding everything everything is about grounding everything is about grounding because this is a big move big big move okay so try not to do so much in this in between okay try not to do so much in this in between just flow just flow okay just ground and just flow because you're in the movement you're in the momentum this is meant to occur this is meant to happen trust that trust that okay my middle finger just got so tingly <gasps> i don't know what that means it just like it's almost like energy it's like zap it's like a lot there's a lot of energy in this space right now a lot of energy is flowing okay i'm gonna leave this here 
Okay, this is, sorry, I just touched my mic. This is what I have. I hope this resonated. I hope it helped. I'm going to flow into your romantic love life reading. Okay, so let's move. Let's move. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Let's get some new cards out for you. I gotta put these cards away. There, are, there's too much energy in them. Just one second. All right. Okay. I feel like I need to go to two oracles for your love reading. So we're going to. I'm just gonna flow. Let me get your oracles out. Let's pick off the energy that's moving through and we'll talk about it for Libra's love reading. Libra's love reading. Libra's love reading. Libra's love reading. Thank you. Soulmates, I just love getting excited for people. Number 41. This is crazy. 41 has been constant. Constant in people's energies. Constant. Um, you have your treasure island at the bottom, and I feel guided to take that for some reason. Because this treasure, this little box on its way to you, this little treasure on top of the tortoise flowing through the sea. Something about the sea, something about the ocean. I'm getting the month of September. Nine. I'm getting the month of September. Could be a Virgo you're connected to, or just like something about the month of September is very important for someone. Um, either, depending on what timeline you're on, something significant happened in the month of September, or something significant is occurring in the month of September. Um, something very dear and something very close to you. Um, 41 has been constantly. 4-1. This is April 1st. Okay, April 1st. There's a shift. There's many, many shifts happening actually in April. From the end of, from the end of March and then all through April. Just crazy shifts. Conjunctions. Um... But there's something about April 1st and, and just the number 41. You could be 41 years old. Someone may be 41 years old. I'm getting April 1st. Um, I'm also getting the variation of four, 41 and 14. So mirrored energies. That came up in... I forget who's reading. Was it Gemini? But we... It was like 41 is just constantly... Um, you have here the divine physician at the bottom of that. Okay, I'm also seeing six and nine, three, six, nine. I'm seeing the, the Tesla code here. <sighs> A lot of things happening for you. I'm still also seeing the sign of cancer. Someone may be going through chemo. I forget who I... I've been feeling this energy um, in, the, in the collective for someone or for a group of you. Um, I'm seeing, I'm seeing uh, like some kind of miraculous healing take place. I'm seeing a holistic healing. I'm seeing that someone is finding the path to healing something physical in their body that they, that they were told that they are not going to heal and then they end up healing it. And that's why the divine physician is coming out. This may be a message for you, the person that you are 
connected to your soulmate or this may be someone that you or they know okay this may be someone that you are connected to that this message is for take it how it resonates but i'm seeing someone be miraculously cured um from a disease or from cancer specifically um uh, i'm seeing someone fighting cancer or someone has fought cancer um just in healing okay from a physical point of view from physical physical illnesses okay um i'm also seeing okay you have here the karmic trench i'm seeing that you are meeting or you are some of you have already connected to your soulmate because you have learned the karmic lessons the karmic trench okay you have healed the divine physician okay you have healed the karma you have healed the karmic lessons you have healed through karma you have gone through healing and you have learned through the karmic lessons you have learned the lessons and they have also learned the lessons and that is why you are coming together with your soulmate um this may be someone that you know this may be someone that you don't know okay take what resonates to you if you are single this is someone that you are going to be meeting if you're currently connected to someone i see that you're coming together with a soulmate of yours that is that i feel in your energy space okay you're going to be coming together with them Please use your discernment. Your overall energy is the Four of Swords. More healing energy for the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. And that was your overall energy and your spiritual growth message. Movement. Movement where there was no movement before because someone was healing. Okay? So... I'm seeing that there was no movement or no momentum. I'm also getting the number 44. Okay, very important, 44. Um, there was no movement because, because of healing. Okay? The wheel is turning. This is a big move. This is a big move. Okay? And part of that big move is this soulmate of yours. I'm getting the number 333. Three, three. Ten of Swords. That was also part of your spiritual growth. Movement. Here we go. The big move. Chariot. Confirming that energy. Knight of Wands. More action and more movement. Um, I'm getting the number 333. Three, three. I think I already said that. Um, there's that Cancer energy that I felt earlier validated by the chariot someone lives on the east end of their soulmate i don't know why they're giving me that so specifically but here is movement here is that movement again this is big move these are not small movements in love like this is a big move in love this is a big change where there was nothing, there is something. Where it was impossible, it becomes possible. If you are single, you're not going to be single. If you weren't connected to this person, nothing was moving in the relationship, it's going to move. I'm also seeing that someone lived on the east end. Like someone lives east of their soulmate. Okay? Someone lives east of them. I don't know why they're giving me a specific location. Like, or, yeah, specific... Um, Ge geography like you li you live east of them that's for some of you the hanged man the magician that was also in your spiritual growth and the six of wands the emperor at the bottom the queen of wands and the ace of cups beautiful okay um Page of Wands. I like this Wands energy. 
Six of Wands. How many wands on energy do we have? One, two, three, four. Wow. That's that's gorgeous. That's beautiful energy. I'm seeing like a really, really, really big completion. Um Ten of Swords. The past is in the past. The pain is in the past. I'm seeing that, um, again, cups I was asking about the ten of swords because I'm seeing that someone wants to put the past to bed because I'm seeing the four of wands here like they want to put something to rest someone you over here like don't go to sleep angry or don't go to sleep in pain someone used to do that like they used to hold it in and that's what created this tension the ten of swords but now they want to, like it's 10-10, completion renewal. It's like they wake up from this energy and just, they no longer feel that pain because it's about forgiveness. Forgiveness heals. Forgiveness heals. You have here the Nine of Wands, Ace of Swords, Nine of Cups. Oh, that's so beautiful. If you know this person, there are wounds in this connection that are being healed. Um, I don't know if I did this reading for you or for someone else, but the message is coming through of, does the, does the good outweigh the bad? I see that if you know this person, the power of moving this forward comes through forgiveness. Comes through forgiveness, okay? Um, if you don't know this person, if you are, um, uh, you know, going to be meeting them or, you know, they come into your life, you meet, I'm seeing that what is moving you to connect to each other in like a very synchronistic, synchronistic, destined, faded way is also through forgiveness. Through learning your, your karmic lessons. Remember what I said earlier. You are meeting this person because you learned your karmic lessons. And they have learned their karmic lessons. You've healed. Now it's time to forgive and put it to bed. And it's time to move forward. There's a power of love here that is healing this pain. The power of love is what's shifting and moving this through. Okay. So if you are single, you don't know this person yet, forgive your past. Forgive yourself. Forgive your past relationships. Okay? And if you know this person, forgive each other. There's a lot of love here. Okay? Um, like I said, uh, it's almost like someone gets up and they get into a car and they, get, they start driving. Um, some of you... That's exactly what I'm seeing here, actually. That's funny. Four of Swords, they wake up, they get in the car, the Chariot, Knight of Wands, they, they start to move towards you. Some of you, you're physically going to be seeing someone, like someone's going to come to your door, some, or you're going to go to them, however this may work. But I'm seeing an in-person conversation, I'm seeing embrace, I'm seeing like you're going to be connecting with this person face-to-face. That might even be occurring on April 1st. Like there's some kind of shift. Okay, there's some kind of meetup as well. There's action here to meet. There's action here to also to have conversations. I'm seeing a date. I'm seeing like some of you go out with this person. 
to talk about the per- perspectives perspectives that have been learned and also to talk about um, how to move this forward successfully and how to create to create from the love how to create from love and also how to create from pain how do you perceive you learn and you grow right this has the potential of that of growth because why because you both have grown it's a matter of forgiveness if you know this person if you don't know this person when you meet I'm seeing someone travel west like you live east of them you're going to be traveling west that could be them like they could be living east of you and they're going to travel west they're going to travel west something about that Um, I'm seeing, again, like a date. I'm seeing a conversation. I'm seeing that you're going to learn from each other. Like there's two different perspectives. I see, it's not that you're on opposite end of the spectrums or something like that, but like you're coming to the middle. So I'm seeing a lot of compromise in this connection. Like they are, they're not that different from you. But I'm seeing like you just both have different perspectives and you're coming together and you're meeting in the middle. Aries, Queen of Wands, there's a lot of chemistry here. There's a lot of love, Ace of Cups. This is also a renewal of love, new love or renewal of love. However, that, however you need to take it. This is a successful relationship, but I'm also seeing them be recognized for something. Some of you may be meeting them at, a, at an event where they are recognized. This is a new recognition. Yeah, because I'm seeing it's almost like they're being crowned or you're being crowned. Someone here is being recognized, applauded. And now I'm hearing, oh, like like I'm hearing an applause. Um, so you could be sitting in an audience or they're sitting in an audience and someone is being recognized and perhaps that's how some of you may meet. Or you're going to be part of their journey. Regardless, you're going to be part of someone's journey of, of them being recognized for their work. Is something that I'm seeing here. Um, and this person's, a, a, you or this person is a CEO or um, I'm seeing Fortune 500. As soon as I closed my eyes, I saw Fortune 500 written on someone's like pass. Like um, someone has a VIP pass. Fortune 500. Um, someone's very like D- DIY, do it yourself. Um, like very into those arts and crafts. I'm seeing that. Someone has a ne- like a really cool platform of DIY or like you, you do a lot of DIY crafts. Um, like you're very creative in that sense. That's something that this person's really going to love about you. If that's what you do or maybe that's them. Um, I'm seeing like a, um, I don't know, something about a red Corvette or um, a red car. But it's like a really old vintage, I'm seeing like a Corvette, but it's like a very red, it's red and it's a vintage, very old and very vintage. Like it's very easy to like recognize this person. Um, they really, really value um, their car. That's for someone. Cause I, ke- I kept seeing like someone getting in their car and drive, like they love their car. <laughs> like. <laughs> Um, yeah, they're even going to take you around in it. They're going to take you around in, in their, in their car. <laughs> that might even be like your first date. Let me just drive you around. Let me show you the scene. Let me show you where, I, where I like to go. Um, there's a particular place that this person loves to go when they drive. Like they like to stop off at a scenery it's almost like you look out and you're like, oh, I live just over there. Like, there's something about west and east. West and east side. West side, east side. There's something about that. I 
I'm feeling a strong Pisces energy here with the hanged man. Oh, I just got lightheaded. Okay, I'm seeing Aries, I'm seeing Pisces, I'm seeing Virgo, I'm seeing Sagittarius, Cancer. Um, there's so much love here. Like when you meet this person, like immediately off the bat, like there's a lot of love that is emitted from this person. Even like between, not even, not even just between the both of you, but like this person has a lot of love for a lot for like what they do, their job, their family, where they live, like their car, like they just are very filled with love and nurture and care. Um, and if you know this person, those may be attributes that you know, that you know of them already. Okay. Um, this person makes me feel very comfortable in their energy. So that this is something that I'm seeing them immediately do. Like, make sure that you're comfortable. Um, because they're also very, they're very, very confident and comfortable in their body. Um, oh yeah, like they have a nice, like, physique. Um, because they're very, like, they're just, they just come across very confident and very comfortable in themselves. So they almost um, immediately like make other people feel very comfortable is something that I'm seeing here. So you might even have that feeling already if you know this person, like how comfortable they make you feel. But um, if you don't know them, like right away what you're going to notice is, okay, I feel really comfortable in this person. This person makes me feel very comfortable. Um, they, they will also make you feel very beautiful too. It's almost like they will go out of, out of the way. They'll go out of their way just to make sure that you're comfortable the way that they're coming across to me here as the emperor and the six of wands. This person like does a lot of things on their own or this could be your energy like they love to do things on their own um, but with you they're going to learn this person is going to have a learning curve of like um, learning how to work in a team is something that I'm seeing here like learning how to work with someone else learning how to grow with someone else learning how to build an empire with someone else. Um, because they've always done things on their own. This may be something that they have already expressed to you if you know them. Um, and if you don't know them, they, you're going to, you're going to notice they may explain to you, like I've grown, I've grown up and I've always had to do things on my own. Um, I'm also seeing like the way they grew up in their community. This could also be your energy, you know, take what resonates, apply yourself where need be. I'm seeing like they take uh you know they took care of their um siblings growing up of, or their parents growing up like they had to grow up at a very early age but they always had to like fend for themselves and also help people in their community is also something very important to them I am seeing this person move around a lot, like with the chariot, the eight of wands, knight of wands. This person likes to do many different things. Um, they're very fun. They love to do a lot of things. Like they really love to do a lot of things. They may even ask you to get out. They may push you outside of your comfort zone. Is something that I'm seeing here with the hanged man and the knight of wands. Um, like someone likes to stay in and the other person likes to go out. So I am seeing like an extrovert introvert dynamic here. But um, I'm seeing that I'm seeing that balance. Like it's it, it's a nice balance. <laughs> um, like you like they will pull you out, and then you can like you know pull them to uh to be a little bit of an introvert sometimes. Um. I see a lot of inspiration here as well with the page of wands. Um, a lot of creative inspiration this person will spark a lot of creative um, inspiration in you and also you to spark a lot of inspiration in them 
I'm getting a lot of energy from here because it's so loving. So, so, so loving. I'm seeing communication. Eight of Wands, Page of Wands. This is new communication or a renewal of communication. Okay. I'm seeing I'm seeing a lot of fours. So I'm I'm get I'm seeing it stabilize. And I'm also seeing April, um, where this is really going to start to take off. Okay. Um, okay. This is what I have. So I'm going to stop here. I love you guys. Until next time.